So I have a monkey with the subdivision surface modifier applied and now we need to smooth this out because we can see those bandings. So I'm going to press the spacebar and select smooth shading. Uh, or you can do the right click and choose smooth shading there. But if you can't do that by pressing spacebar, then you need to go into the edit and user preferences and select the uh, spacebar action to be the search instead of the default one. With that being done, you can press the save user settings. By the way, if you have a graphics card installed on your system, then you can go there and choose the CUDA or uh, similar. Uh, if you have AMD, I don't know what that's called. After that being done, just press on the save user settings and boom, you will, you will be rendering with the GPU. Okay, right now you can see that there's no shadows and the light is not affecting the object. So you need to go into the shading view mode. Upper right corner of the screen, you can see the shading view mode. Just press, I mean, click that button, and boom, you're in shading view mode. Right now you can you can't see any shadows, so I'm gonna add a plane, and yeah, so now you can see the shadows. Now if I move the light, you can see that the shadow is changing. The more topics on the light will be coming next videos. Um, when I will show you guys how to render and light up a scene. Other than that. I'm going to just quickly duplicate this light and move it on the other side so that we have a nice lighting going on here. Yeah, now let's learn about materials. So now in the properties window, we're gonna have to go into the materials tab. Yeah, so this is the materials tab, and when you click here, you need to go ahead and assign a new material. By the way, just make sure that you have selected the monkey. So I'm going to quickly rename it by saying, let's say monkey, M-O-N-K-E-Y, just in case you You can see that by default the monkey should have a principal shader applied. Now you might ask that what is a shader? Well, let me show you guys. A shader is basically a computer program which was originally used for shading, like how the object should look and like, let's say you have a reflective ball, so it must reflect light, so you can see your reflections say you have a rough ball and it shouldn't reflect in the light so that's when you use shader to distinguish between these those two objects however in this scene you can see that the monkey and the plane has the same material so you can't really distinguish the like uh, which one is made out of which basically this was the shader but now it is used in many different ways like you know i mean occlusion screen space reflections and all that good stuff so let's learn about shaders oh, before you know, telling you guys what what a principal shader is is basically a combination of all the shaders in blender so uh, that means that you can create everything with this single shader i know there are lots of values uh, but trust me it's gonna be much more easier than you think it is yeah just stick it to the end guys and hold it tight because it would be easy trust me now as a beginner i'm not gonna be teaching you how to create custom shaders with uh all those all these shaders you can see there's a ton a lot of them not ton but still a lot of them we're gonna be using the principal shader but however i'll just show you guys what these shaders does and you can play by yourself and see what it does. I mean, you can't really break the engine. Just play. Yay. So. By the way, guys, I just forgot to tell you guys about something. That if you want to create another window, you're going to have to go to any corner of the screen and then just click and drag on the other side. So you'll have two windows to work with. Now you can do it with from any corner and uh, to any direction you like. Let's say I'm going to create another one and below of this so I'm gonna click and drag now let's say you mess everything up and you don't really know how to clean this let's say you wanna close the right side window this right one so you're gonna go into the bottom left corner of the screen and then just drag it to the right like this close the upper one I'm gonna quickly do this as you can see now we're talking so I'm gonna have two windows side by side and now you can change this window to anything you like let's say you want to change it to a timeline now we have the timeline here like this bottom one let's say you want to change it to something like properties tab 
so we'll have the properties tab here let's say you want to change it to outliner so you'll have the outliner here now I'm going to change it to the shader editor so that we can work with shaders much more conveniently I'm going to quickly select the monkey and go into the materials tab now you can see that the principal shader is displayed on the shader editor this one is the principal shader now you can click and drag to move these nodes these individual things are a node okay now I'm gonna, if you can you can see that the if I change the value of roughness here the value will be changed on the right hand side in the properties tab you can if you wanted to delete a node you just need to press X and it will be deleted like you normally would with an object now if you add a shader in the properties tab it will be added in the sub um, in the shader editor also ah looks like my blender has been crashed sorry guys last time my blender was crashed I don't know for what reason so and you can press shift A to add anything you would like so you can go into a shader and you will see all the lists of all the lists of shaders that are available so I'm gonna quickly choose the diffuse now you can see that the monkey is black and that's because we need to plug this diffuse to the surface and you can see that the diffuse shader is working if you plug it wrong way or in an another socket it should not work and uh, you will see some sort of glitch in the viewport so yeah and right now we are using a real time render engine and that's why the emission is not emitting any light you can see that the light is not affecting anything so we need to change the render engine from EV to cycles let's go into the render scene options and choose render engine as cycles and you can see much more realistic shadows and lighting so let's learn about the different kinds of shaders first thing first is the diffuse shader well it's just a diffuse shader it doesn't have any reflections it doesn't ha emit lights and yeah that's a simple diffuse color coming up next is the glossy shader now you can use the glossy shader for metals and things like that uh, yeah it basically is for reflections next up is the emission shader well it's it just emits light like diffuse shader just a diffuse color and emission is just emits light you can have as a red bulb you're gonna just punch it out to the red and then in increase the intensity and you will have a glowing ball I guess a glowing monkey so next up is the glass shader it's just a glass shader basically you can have a cup and you can apply the shader to make it look like it's made out of glass coming up next is the subsurface scattering shader and what it does well you can use the shader for human tissues and leaves grasses and things like that I mean the light goes through the object and scatters every direction just you can yeah like like the example shown here coming up next is the transparent shader and what the transparent shader does it just makes the object transparent and that's it now in the next video we will learn about the principal shader so in, you can create all these shaders in that single principal shader yes you can create metals and you can create the f human flesh everything in one single shader so stay tuned for that and we're gonna learn the UV unwrapping and texturing kind of stuff so stay tuned for that and please make sure you hit the subscribe button if you done that if you haven't done that yet and if you have any problem just uh, let me know in the comments below I will definitely help it out and thanks for watching guys